Welcome. Uh, in today's video cast, we're going to be talking about SBTU 013.2. We're going to walk through how to uh, construct a existing project in Activator and upgrade it to 013.2, including discussing a few of the new features. So with that, let's uh, let's get started. Uh, so first, uh, it, we're going to construct a project. Um, most of you will probably already have an existing project that you'd like to upgrade to SVT. Um, I do not, so let's create one. We're going to use Activator. We're going to call our project uh, Upgrade SVT. Yeah, we'll call it Hello SVT. And inside of here, we're going to pick uh, one of the many Activator templates to construct our application. Uh, reactive map this looks pretty good right there all right so if we go into this new hello SBT project and we run activator UI uh, it's gonna start up activators against uh, the project activator is a UI built on top of SBT now um, inside of here we can actually look at our code we can look at uh, the compile log and stuff all sorts of good things in Activator. Uh, for the purpose of this demo, what we've done is we've turned off compiling on change. We've turned off running on a successful build uh, because we're actually going to be demonstrating things in the SBT terminal. We're only going to be using Activator here as an editor. Uh, so first, let's look at upgrading SBT. Inside of our project, if you go to the project directory, and we look at build that properties you can see the current reactive maps application is using SBT 0130 so the very first thing we need to do is change that to 2 and click save now we're upgraded to SBT 0132 uh, to prove it let's go back to the terminal we'll create a new application or a new uh, activator instance in hello SBT this will, uh, since it's the first time running 0.13.2, it just resolves 0.13.2, it recompiles our build definition against all the new code, and loads us into our project. Now if we type SBT version, or if we spell it correctly, you'll see that it is now 0.13.2, all the great play features of compile, a test, will work. Uh, yep. Yeah. So with that, let's look at the next feature of uh, SBT, which uh, is around compilation. So uh, SBT includes an incremental compilation feature where we just ran compile, and you can see that it compiled 19 Scala sources and one Java source. Now, if I run compile again nothing is compiled because SBT recognizes that we've already compiled and no one has made changes to any of these source files. Uh, in 0.13.2 we have a brand new uh, name hashing algorithm for incremental compilation which should actually improve the behavior of this algorithm. To enable it we come in here and we say incremental options for this project equal the previous incremental options but with name hashing enabled. Uh, and now let's uh, actually make a change. So if we come into application.scala and we make a new uh, hello action and we just want to return hello the string and we come back and we compile you'll see that only one Scala source file needed to be changed and then three that's our previous algorithm uh, that's because we after we compile the one Scala source file we detect there are three more that need to be compiled um, now let's reload the build this will recompile the build with that name hashing feature turned on now we're going to compile Notice that 19 Scala source files and one Java source file are compiled just as before. That's the entire project. Um, but when we remove this method, which has absolutely no dependencies except for this project, and we compile, notice one Scala source file is compiled and then we are done. Um, that is the benefit of the new algorithm. Generally, you will have less Scala source files compiled on each iteration, which means you should have a faster development experience. 
let's move on to the next feature of SBT 013. So, uh, in SBT 013, there is a new feature which allows you to write what we call incremental tasks. So, we will make a library to show this. Inside of a uh, project, um, we're going to make a new library or plugin uh, that will show off a incremental task. This will be the menu of the day. Um, so, we're going to create a new file called menu.scala. And inside of this file, I've already written the menu plugin. We import the SBT library. We define an object called menu, and every SBT plugin is, is simply a sequence of SBT settings that can get reused in uh, your .SBT files. This uh, plugin consists of two tasks. One is called show menu, which displays the current menu. One is called soup of the day. The goal of soup of the day is to return the name of the soup of the day and if there's none defined yet we need to ask the uh, person trying to show the menu what the soup of the day should be. Uh, you generally don't want to do that with customers uh, because they will just pick whatever their favorite soup is and then you might not have the ingredients. So, um, Soup of the day is the very interesting task so let's look at show menu first. Uh, that's a tease. So, uh, log is the logging in SBT. Uh, we just grab an instance of a logger, we show the menu, and then we grab the value of soup of the day. Uh, the soup of the day task, we say, what was the previous value? So, previous returns an optional value. If we had a previous value, we get some value, some soup, and we return it. If there was no previously defined value, then we block all input on SBT. Since tasks run in parallel, it's possible that one task might stomp on another's input. And then we read a line of text, say, please enter the next soup. If uh, someone doesn't want to enter a soup, we assume that they like turtle soup. Why not? Uh, so now let's take this plugin and wire it into our build. Oh. Yeah, thank you. We need to save. So now we just say menu.settings, referencing that the settings from that plugin. And if we come back here and we click reload, I'm going to bump the font up so we can see this a little bit better. Uh, we will run a show menu. And it says, please enter the next soup. Well, today I think tomato basil sounds good. And you see it displays the menu with tomato basil. If we do show menu again, it shows tomato basil. Every time we run it, it will show tomato basil until we've cleaned. Now, when we run it again, it doesn't know what the soup is. So it will do, um, I think, pumpkin soup. Okay, and that is incremental tasks. Use your imagination on uh, how to take advantage of these. Um, I believe Play, uh, the SBT web project, already makes use of this feature to handle um, incremental compilation of JavaScript assets. Uh, we hope that it is valuable for many, many, many more things. Um, and with that, let's move on to the last feature in SBT 013. Um, as you may know, in SBT, all tasks run in parallel. Uh, the, we, we added a new mechanism to choose many disparate tasks and run them in parallel. Uh, so to demonstrate this, we're actually going to come into our plugin and we're going to add a little bit. Um, just a reminder, uh, in show menu, we're using the soup of the day value. However, this is all asynchronous um, dependencies. So when I depend on soup of the day dot value, what that does in SBT is I say before you can run this block of code this other task has to have run beforehand so this task will actually run before this block of code is executed and then this the value that we got from this task is passed in so this will actually run all of this will run after soup of the day which means if we throw a giant thread dot sleep here and we're gonna do four seconds this thread.sleep will happen after this task runs, but before the menu is output. So let's save this. 
Let's come back into the console. We need to clean and we need to reload the build definition. Now, uh, since the build definition is reloaded, we can try to run two tasks at the same time. We're going to run the compile task and the show menu task. Now, what we expect to happen is these two will run in parallel. So I will be asked what the soup of the day is at the same time that we are uh, updating our dependencies and compiling. And after or during compilation, the menu will show up, uh, assuming that compilation takes longer than four seconds. Um, and then the menu shows up, the compilation results show up, and then we're done. So let's take a look. You see that please enter next soup comes first, even though show menu was second, because these are both running in parallel. Um, so I still like pumpkin soup. We're going to have pumpkin soup. You can see that updating and compiling has started. The menu is printed and then the compilation finishes uh, with two feature warnings. So we just ran a bunch of tasks in parallel. This feature is intended for continuous integration type environments, uh, running Jenkins Nightlies, running uh, pull request validation. I'd like to run my integration suite and my um, unit testing suite in parallel so that I can ensure that I am optimally using my hardware. Uh, so with that, that is SBT 013.2. Uh, we hope that you find all of this useful and please try out the name hashing and let us know how it works for you. Let us know what improvements we could make. Thank you.